Welcome back. This is my banner and you're still on the AM show. Now, the Ghanaian constitution uh, provides the Ghanaian the right to health and safety. Now, this right is protected through the regulatory work of state institutions such as the Food and Drugs Authority. That's the FDA. Now, Part 7 of the Public Health Act, 2012 Act 851, mandates the Food and Drugs Authority to protect the Ghanaian public through the regulation of food, drugs, household chemical substances, cosmetics, and medical devices. Now, unsafe food could lead to hospitalization or death of consumers. Uh, with Christmas approaching, some traders are actually taking advantage of the public uh, by selling unwholesome food to them. Now, the Food and Drugs Authority has been undertaken post-market surveillance, but still needs the alertness and cooperation of the public to keep them safe. Um, now, so ahead of the Yuletide, uh, we are going to look at what the Food and Drugs Authority has been up to in checking all of the uh, these uh, ministers. Now, I have with me in the studio Mr. James Slatty. Uh, he is a public relations officer of the Food and Drugs Board. Welcome, Mr. James Slatty. Thank, Thank you. So, it's about um, today's date is 8th of December. Yes. So, roughly, we have about 17 days to Christmas. Yeah. 16 or 17 days, because some people start Christmas on the 24th. Yeah. So, um, we're looking at a lot of Christmas shopping. Yeah. By now, you should get into our market centers. They are getting yeah. filled up with people every now and then. Yeah. Tell us, first of all, what is it that you're doing ahead of this uh, Yuletide? Thank you so much. And let me say good morning to all your listeners and viewers. Uh, you know, uh, Food and Drugs Authority, like you rightly said, our responsibility is to ensure public health and safety. And some of the activities we do is to ensure that products that are on the market mm -hmm. are safe for consumption. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about uh, food products, medicines, cosmetics, mm -hmm. medical devices, mm -hmm. and household chemicals. Mm -hmm. Now, what we do is that, you know, after, like when you like refer to the Public Health Act, it's so clear in the Act that nobody has the right to import, to export, mm -hmm. to manufacture, to distribute, to sell any of these five products unless the Food and Drugs Authority has given you that permission, or let me say that authority, to bring it onto the market. What we do is that we register the products before you bring it onto the market. But after we've registered it, we have what we call post-market surveillance activities, where we ensure that what we have given approval mm -hmm. is what is on the market. There are times is this that, always the case? Yes. You know, there are times that people can bring products for registration. After you've they brought the samples, you've checked it, you have given approval, you find out that what is on the market is different from what you give approval exactly. to. And that is why we have the post-market surveillance team. They go into shops on the market to ensure that what we have said should be on the market is what is on the market. So what we do is that there are times that when they go to check labeling, there are times that we can pick products randomly, bring it to the lab just to confirm that is that what we give approval to. Aside the post-market activities, we have our offices at the ports, also to ensure that products that are coming onto the market are safe for consumption, or they are products that we have given approval to. But you know, the challenge is that because of the porous borders that we have, mm. there are times that people are able to conceal, you know, unregistered or unwholesome products into, into registered consignment and bring it onto the market. That is why if the port should outwit us mm -hmm. or people should use the uh, uh, maybe porous borders to bring in those products, we have the post-market surveillance thing again. What's on the market, they were able to detect these things. But you know, aside all these things, be a human institution. Let's uh, understand that there are times that this will be outwitted in these systems. So we we'll expect that our education to the general public will also assist in checking in case we are outwitted. And we tell consumers that when you go onto the market and you are buying products, there are some basic things that you have to look at for. Number one, check the expiry dates mm -hmm. of the products. Mm -hmm. There are times that you realize that the expiry date has been defaced exactly. or altered. Mm -hmm. The moment you see that as a consumer, you don't have to buy the product. There are times that you realize that, apart from the expiry dates, the product that is, you are buying has no manufacturer's name or address, has no batch number. When you see these things, 
you do not have to patronize it. Sometimes even the labeling is not in English. Yes. It's in, a, it's in Arabic Good. or it's in Chinese Good. or some language you don't understand. Yes. You know, per the law, products that are imported into this country, the labeling must be in English. So even if there's an Arabic on it, mm -hmm. the English translation must be on it. The moment you see a product on the market that has not got any English translation and is purely in a foreign language, trust me, that product was smuggled into the country. It never passed through there. Uh, then it means that yeah. day in day out we have these products on the market. I mean, uh, uh, you, there are there are a lot of, especially the tinned food, the, the yes. canned food. Yes. You see a lot of them uh, with the labels not in English and all of that. Yes. I mean, what 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 are you doing in 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 your you see, office to check all of these things? These are things that when we go onto the market and we find, we immediately seize them and get them destroyed. But like I indicated in my intro, you know the consumer has a big role to play. Let's just assume a consumer walks into a shop and sees products that are not labeled in English and refuses to buy them. Mm. There's no people who stock there because they know that nobody's going to buy. But the moment the consumer encourages by patronizing these things. But they are cheap. Yes, but you don't have to follow the cheapness because you don't know the content. But you don't know somebody's pocket. No, you are going to rely I get on I get onto the market and I find a... a, a Corned beef, what we usually call corned beef. Yes. Um, you know, there are different varieties. Yes. Okay, Exeter is the most expensive. I think it yes. costs about 23 or 24 CDs yes. now. I yes. see another one, Esther, and Esther costs about um, 20 CDs. Yes. I see another one in Arabic that costs about 15 CDs, and yeah. there's some that's, that costs about 10 CDs. Yes. I won't even check the expiry date. I will go, I mean, thinking like an ordinary. Person, I'll just you know, go ahead and say that okay, this is the cheapest of it all, and this is what I can afford. But Let is, me get it. The expiry date. So if it's um, today is eight, uh, yeah. eight December, it would expire yeah. maybe on thirty first of December. Let me get it. It's cheap. Let me explain something to you. Mm -hmm. In the fact, let me pick expiry date, mm -hmm. and then we'll come back to this okay. issue. Okay. All right. If a product today is eight. Yeah. If, for instance, I go into the market, and I find a product that is going to expire on the ninth. Mm -hmm. There is no law that makes it illegal. If it's level one day for it to expire, it has a legal right to be on the market. Okay. So it's not the responsibility of the consumer to say that I'm not going to uh, consume this thing by on the ninth. So let me not buy it. Okay. So the seller has not committed any offense by selling such a product. But as regulators, what we do is this: if we go around doing a post-market surveillance activities and realize that. You have maybe boxes of product that will be expired in a month's time. We have the right to check your sales book and see how the product moves. I mean, how? If we realize that okay. you cannot sell them before that date, we can confiscate them. And the law permits us to do that. Mm. But you, the consumer, cannot do that. So you have to tell yourself that I cannot consume this thing before that date, so I'm going to buy it. But it is not a mistake on the part of the seller to set a product that has expired or itself with a week for it to expire. Secondly, when it comes to promotion, this is done all over the world. Mm -hmm. That if, for instance, our products that I know be expired within a week's time, I can decide that if I'm selling for 10 cities, I then go for 5 cities. Yes. Or 3 for 20 cities. Mm -hmm. I want it to go. Mm -hmm. And it's promotion. Mm -hmm. But you, the consumer, should say that I want to buy it or I don't want to buy it. So nobody can accuse the seller for reducing the price to sell once it hasn't expired he has a right to sell it so like i said earlier it's the responsibility of the consumer to check what is buying can i consume before the date if i cannot let me not buy it okay so are you as a food and drugs authority embarking on any exercise i mean between now and christmas to ensure that on on wholesome let me call them on wholesome um, um uh, foods and drinks are taking off our markets yes you know and uh, we have been doing this on daily basis mm -hmm. but normally when it comes to this festive season because mm -hmm. we know of all these activities dubious mm -hmm. activity that goes on mm -hmm. we increase the number of staff that goes on to the market and that's exactly what we've done this time mm -hmm. now we are used apart from our staff that we use we are using service personnel mm -hmm. we pick them into buses mm -hmm. we move to town, mm -hmm. distribute them, mm -hmm. go to shops, check all these things. So this is what we're doing from now out to somewhere in the middle of January. You understand? Mm -hmm. But you see, apart, we've spoken about expired products. Let me mention some few other things that happen. Exactly. I was just about asking. You know, there are times that when you buy especially canned products, mm -hmm. you realize that right from the mouth, 
there's some rusting. Exactly. The moment you sit, please, you don't have to patronize it. The Why? reason is that there's every possibility that the, the rusting has extended into the can. Okay. And that contaminates the product okay. in it. Mm -hmm. Aside that, you know there are times that you buy canned products mm -hmm. and you notice that it has dented. Yes, there are dents on the on the tea. Look, people don't know the danger in that thing. But when a product is dented, canned products, you don't have to buy it. Why? You know the inner layer has a, a material that protects the, the content. Okay. When it gets dented, there are cases where the inner layer is broken. And the moment it's broken, that protective thing gets broken. So the food product in it can get contaminated. You understand? So once it's dented, you don't know whether it has broken inside. So the best thing is that do not patronize it. I see. Like we have indicated earlier, when it comes to uh, products that are not English, forget about it. Do not patronize it. Again, there are times that when you buy the gun products, you realize that it has bloated. They are parts of it that as if uh, they are raising themselves exactly. up. Exactly. You see, they bloated in a way. Yeah, yeah. When a product happens that way, there's a possibility that there's some microbial activities that is going on. So the germ in this or the uh, uh, microorganisms in this attempt to come out gets the product bloated. So when you see a product that has bloated, there's every possibility that it is not wholesome. So you don't have to personalize it. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the few things that we think consumers want to look out for when they are buying products. Okay, so those are for canned, the, the, so for canned foods, yes. watch out for dents, watch out for bloating, bloating. watch out for rusts on the, on, yes. the, on the mouth of it. Yes. Now, those are, let's, let's move away from that. And then there are other, uh, uh, also consumable products. Yeah. For instance, you're buying, uh, let me use Joy Daddy because that's what our farmers got. You're buying drinks like all those ones, like the Joy Daddy bitters and all of those things. I mean, what are we looking out for? Because a lot of people will drink during this Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. check, check the expiry dates. Mm. And check the things I've mentioned, uh, mm. manufacturer's name and address and things. Mm -hmm. And you see, the moment you buy a product, let me mention before I forget. You know, consumers, we normally continue to consume products that we have confidence in. Yeah. Good. If, for instance, you know that this product appears red in color, and this time when you go for it, the color has changed, please, you don't have to use it. Mm -hmm. If it is the scent, the odor of the product has changed, you don't have to patronize it. Mm -hmm. If you see any feature, even the labeling, that you have some suspicion that this is not what you use to patronize, it's advisable you don't buy it. Confirm from either the uh, maybe if you know the distributor of food and drugs authority mm -hmm. just confirm from us before you patronize the product and one other thing i forgot to mention is that products that are exposed to sunlight direct sunlight please it is not advisable because most of the time you know the, the it, it is destroyed they will not eat before, this christmas because you know, almost everything is displayed in direct sunlight and we have advice sellers not to do that mm. and we are advising consumers that when you see products that are exposed to direct sunlight do not patronize what it. is the reason behind that you know the heat affects the product so there are times that the product has already gone bad though the expiry date may be intact because of the way it is, it is stored so when it happens that way you don't have to patronize it. Then we I, have to buy from the supermarkets because they are kept in, they, they have air, con air, air conditioned And you see, there are some shops that are outside mm. that the way they've kept their places. They're really protected they protect, from the sun. Yeah, sure. It's also good. Mm. But once you realize that it's exposed to sunlight, you don't have to patronize it. Mm. And let me also advise the wholesalers and the sellers themselves that, you know, it is very important that they should keep products under very good hygienic condition and under very good storage condition. This morning when I was coming, I received a WhatsApp from someone I don't know the person. But the message was that some people have died in a, a certain country. Mm -hmm. And what happened is that they consumed a canned product. And a test that was made indicated that rodents have urinated and things onto the product. Oh, my you understand? That caused a particular kind of disease. In fact, that was the first time I heard such a thing. Well, I think it's happened you know, before. Yes. So when you buy canned products and things, it's good that you even wash the mouth and things before you consume it. 
because you don't know how it has been stored. And the, those who store it must also make sure that they are storing them under very good conditions. Hygienic. Just to protect the consumer. Hmm. So these are some of the things we need to I see. Out. Then it means yeah. that the Food and Drugs Authority would also have to go on the streets of Accra and sack all those who sell the pawpaws and the watermelons and all you of know, them because they are exposed to direct sunlight. The trust especially me. plantain chips. I love buying plantain chips when I'm in traffic. You know, in we did, FDA did an exercise. Mm -hmm. In fact, that was more on drugs. Mm. To get rid of people that sell medicines in buses and things. We did this exercise about a week long. We left two days, they came back. The question is that, is it going to be something that every time will leave the office chasing people on the streets? It means that your public sensitization is not enough. It's not that. It's the consumer that I think is not being alert. You know, I, I'm, I'm saying this for a reason. Mm -hmm. There are times that you find a consumer, he will stand by a gutter that is very filthy. He's buying rice. Then he will call and say that, Someone is selling rice at a very filthy place. Mm. Meanwhile, he's buying it. <laughs> you know, this is the challenge. <laughs> we can move there and deal yeah. with the person. Uh. But trust me, if the consumer refuses to buy from such a person, imagine you come and put your food there. Nobody is buying because of the environment. environment. Nobody but will tell you. To Mr. Mr. Right. Lati, for instance, yes. I'm hearing things for the very first time this yeah. morning. For instance, yeah. I, have, I have learned that if there's rust on the surface yes. of any canned yes. product, I shouldn't yes. bite. If there's yes. a dent, I shouldn't yes. bite. Yes. I mean, don't you think that you need to do a lot more public sensitization? I don't think it's enough. You see, I mean, uh, you are telling me in Accra, I don't know how many, I, I know a lot of people are watching me in, 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 in rural areas, but definitely not every rural area will get the opportunity to hear you this morning. What are you doing to I, reach I, everyone I, out I, there? I, I, I agree with you. You know, we have spoken to NCC to assist us in this. Currently, we are working on a documentary. That one is ready. They are going to help us to aid somewhere in the villages and things. Okay. This is what we are thinking of mm -hmm. doing. Because mm -hmm. what you are saying is something we've really considered. And we know that we can talk here, but they don't hear it over there. Because if I am educated, yeah. if my cameramen are educated, my sound man, everybody yeah. is educated, yeah. they will educate somebody. Agree. That somebody will educate Agree. somebody. Agree. And then we'll know that if you're selling for ball that is exposed to direct sunlight, yes. I will not buy. Yes. If I see a dent on a can mineral, I will not buy. Yeah. If I see a, a product without expiry date, I will not buy. Yeah. The manufacturer's yeah. name, address is not yeah. there, I will yeah. not buy. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good cause yeah. that you have. So, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Uh, yeah. But uh, you can actually join us via phone. If you have any questions for Mr. Latte, he's a PRO of the Food and Drugs Authority. Uh, if you want to find out, you, you have any questions to ask, if you want to make any input, he's here for you. The numbers will be displayed on your screens right about now. All right, so Mr. Latte, let's, let's, let's go on. We've spoken <coughs> extensively about um, food and yeah. drinks, especially yeah. the canned ones. Yeah. But I know uh, cosmetics are under your jurisdiction as yes. well as uh, medications. I mean, yeah. let's talk about medications especially because yeah. definitely people are going to get hungry over and they'll need uh, <laughs> the liver yeah, salt and all of that to, to neutralize yeah. their systems. I mean, yeah. what should we look out for when we're purchasing drugs? This yeah, Christmas? you see, uh, with medicines, mm -hmm. let me make this clear to consumers that the law is so clear about it that medicines are supposed to be sold only at approved premises. Licensed chemical yes, stores? Yes, licensed chemical shops, mm -hmm. pharmacy shops, mm -hmm. hospitals. These are the places. Not in cars. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not in when, cars. You see, when you see people selling medicines in cars, this is not permitted. Like I've mentioned when we're talking about food, you don't even know the way they have stored it before bringing it into the box. Because the point is that when you buy medicines and even food products, you realize that the written store under a, a store at temperature below maybe 25 degrees Celsius or something of that nature. Mm. All these conditions that are given on the medicine are what keeps the medicine within its proper, you know, temperature. Temperature or within its proper state. Let me okay. put it that way. Proper so condition. that if, for instance, somebody keeps the medicine mm -hmm. under heat and brings it to you, though the medicine has not expired because of the way it has been stored, it's gone back already. So you take it and you're not getting any result. And you may think the product is not good. Not that the product is not good. The way it is installed is where the problem is. So we advise consumers that buy medicines from approved premises. And let's come back to the approved premises. We have had experience as an institution 
where even within the approved premises, we have problems about medicines that we've picked from okay. those places. Please hold on with the problems. Um, yeah. Let me get onto the phone line. Yes. Uh, Joseph from Sunyani, are you on my line? Hello? Hello, madam. Hi, good morning. good morning. How are you? I'm fine, madam. Question, input, suggestion, view. Let's hear you. Yeah. Yes, madam. What I want to ask my fellow senior, Mr. Lati, that uh, uh, if you buy a drug from some store, and um, you see that the date has expired, mm -hmm. who should you call immediately to come and verify that what you are saying is true? Who will you call? Have you, you call the police or you call the food and drugs so that they, they can give us their line number? Okay. Thank you very so much. That if them, yeah. Very necessary. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, uh, when you find these things, what we have noticed is that there are times that consumers begin to exchange words mm -hmm. together with the seller. Mm -hmm. It creates a problem. Definitely. So sometimes by the time they get to us, mm -hmm. the seller would have removed that All evidence those things, from yes. the shelf. Yes. It creates a problem investigating. Mm -hmm. So what we advise is that when you find such a thing, just call the FDA. You understand? If you call us and you are not getting us, you can call the police okay. and they always make sure they get okay. us. Okay, so you put out your so number. So I'll give you okay. number before we end. Um, yeah. Francis, good morning. Uh, good morning. Francis, question, <coughs> view, suggestion, let's hear you. Uh, yes, I have a, I can have a question for uh, the, the... Mr. Lati. Yes. Okay. Um, in terms that when um, uh, products are, are, are exposed to sunlight... Mm -hmm. in, in direct sunlight. sunlight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Direct sunlight, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Is it you know, that the canned food or the food, if it is the food, like the poor oranges and the rest, I, I don't know how that is practicable in Ghana. I mean, I think practically, I mean, you see people sell carrots uh, with the oranges and apples, you know, and, I mean, the whole sun is yeah. on it. So, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know, I'm at a loss. I don't know whether he's directly talking about the canned food or the food. In fact, every product where you are buying, and I'm talking about food products, medicines, and things. So, including the food, yes, the purple it and should not be okay. on Francis, direct sunlight. So. It's, it's not the best. Okay. You understand? All right. Even with the fruits and things, if once there's it's going heat to on go it, into your mouth, yes, you understand. And when there's heat on it, mm -hmm. you know this thing contains vitamins and things. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You will not get the, the needed, the, the, the needed thing that you are supposed to okay. get. So All it's right. always advisable. That's why you are supposed to store those things in refrigerators and things. Okay. You know, it's, it's not advisable. Yeah. Naughty. Good morning. Hello, Naughty. Good morning. Good morning. How may I help you? Question, suggestion, view. Oh uh, well, I just make, want to make a suggestion. Okay. Oh uh, well, I think uh, Mr. Lat is doing well, but uh, uh, you know the majority of Ghanaians are illiterate in terms of formal education. Hmm. And so what they need to do is to use these artists who a lot of people enjoy watching to tell the education, so that a lot of okay. people get to. Uh, know uh, the dangers about this, some okay. of these okay. uh, food uh, issues. Okay. You know, Mr. Mr. Latte has taken your suggestion in yeah. good faith. Thank you yeah. very much. Uh, so, Mr. Latte, Mr. Latte, back yeah. to you. I mean, yeah. a few questions for you here, and then yeah. a, a suggestion coming from yeah. the last caller. Yeah. And I think that, 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 that that's in, in the right direction. Because uh, we have even thought of trying to use drama series and things in education. I mean, these things have been discussed uh, to do so. I think we, 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 we just agree to okay, that. Okay, and yeah. more especially, yeah. uh, we need to reach our rural folk. We have to. Yes. We have to. Okay, so a caller asked for the numbers to call. Yes, um, if you want to call FDA, mm -hmm. you can call us on 0302 233 200 0302 or 0302 or most of the time I like to give my number out because okay, there are times sure. over the weekends sure, 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 sure. You so you can mind. call on 0244-337235 and we'll just make sure we attend to you yeah okay so you have it there. Be very careful when you're buying canned, when you're buying canned foods. Uh, watch out for rasts on the surface or any part of it.
just the surface or any part of it on any part of any it. part of it mm. watch out for dents watch out for bloating watch out for the expiry date watch out for um manufacturer's, name and, manufacturer's name and address if you don't find all of those things trust me you're not getting anything yeah, wholesome you you're wasting niche. your money yeah. and make sure that you don't buy anything that is exposed to direct sunlight right, right? Yeah. good education i should get an a plus from you Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, Mr. James Latte is a public relations officer yeah. of the Food and Drugs Authority. Thanks very much for your time. Thank and you. we're going to have Thank him you. again on Wednesday, I'm told. No so, uh, in case you missed any part of this discussion, don't worry. On Wednesday, you'll have the opportunity to hear more. All right. So